Hi everybody, welcome to the video surprise of the day. Today's video surprise on the Lexus NX, the second generation Lexus NX, changing the cabin pollen filter. This is very easy to do and it's a simple DIY. I'm going to show you how to save some money and time. Before you get started, please might hit the subscribe button, the bell icon to be notified of new videos, and I really appreciate that thumbs up if you like the video till the end. Alright, so I have my 2024 Lexus NX350H. Yes, this is an atonic silver. Okay, so first of all, before you get started, um, you can take everything out of the glove compartment. That's very simple to do. And I'm going to show you the filter right here. This is the 87139-58010. Yes, it's the same part number as in the 2019 RAV4 or newer. And uh, this one is for the NX. 2022 and newer as well and may share with other models as well too so first of all you want to remove the gun compartment before you do that we don't we remove all the paperwork and it's a very simple process to do this all right before you remove the gun compartment make sure you remove this hook over here this latch so you don't damage anything then you want to squeeze the gun compartment to the left and squeeze it to the right over here so then with both hands, you can squeeze it and pull the gut compartment out, just like that. All right. Next, you're gonna see like a door over here. Yes, a little cover, little door. You want to remove this one. It shows the orientation pointing upward. So make sure you follow that. So how are you gonna do this? You want to squeeze this endpoint over here. Then you want to pull to the right. And when you install, just do the backwards. Then you can slide the tray out. Alright, so it's pointing upward, the orientation pointing up, all right? And you want to clean the pollen filter or replace it. It lasts probably around six months, unless you part under a tree or something, a lot of debris. Notice the orientation is pointing up as well too. I just want to follow the orientation. And yes, if you use the non-OEM ones, there may be a different orientation. Just to let you know ahead of time. In my case, it's not really that dirty. I could clean the debris and we install. So I'm going to do that right now. All right. So notice the tabs on the end. So your filter should go under it. All right. Just simple as that. One, two, three. Simple process. Then you want to put the pollen filter tray back in. Just slide it in. Before you do that, check for any debris or anything like that, tree leaves or anything like that. And just slide it in and make sure it catches. All right, so I'm going to do that really again so I can show you. Do it slowly. There it is. Okay, next, you want to put the cover back in. Opposite where you did when you took it out. So you're going to slide it to the left. Notice the the parts that have to go in over here just like that and you squeeze the endpoint and that should lock in place you could test it out and make sure it doesn't fall off but that's how you do it and you know pretty much you replace the pollen filter so now what you need to do is put the glove compartment back together and it's very simple as well too i can show you that okay so we want to put the glove compartment back notice the the left and the right have some hinges you want to match up, all right? So let's do that right here. So once you align the hinges, just like that, you want to push the gut compartment in an upward direction, all right? Make sure it's aligned and it's in there. And you got these end pieces over here. So the end pieces, you can just slide it like that. And you want to put the damper hook back in. All right, so that's simple as that. And you probably want to test it out one or two times to make sure the glove compartment doesn't fall off. If anything's aligned, it should not fall off. If not, take it out again and redo it. Okay, so simple as that. Hope this video helps you out. Save you some money, save you some time. And you got the part number I put in the description. Please help me out with thumbs up, comment, to share. Please leave it below. Please don't subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye.